ver o carro cheio verde. E a malta que vem atrás, ainda tem muito, muita frente para caminhar, ou seja, vai ser, sai do nosso... Sai da nossa poupa. So, question number one, what's your biggest fear about the climate? So, my biggest fear is like, um, we can sell if the climate changing and uh, we don't have like a sea to, to sell and do everything. Um, and some countries around the world d depend of the sea. That's uh, quite sad to think like that, when you think about the next generations and bringing up a family or uh, being able to, to fish and to, to eat uh, some fish at the end of the day and that's something that kind of uh, worries me a lot. Question number two, how do you f think world leaders could do better when it comes to protecting the ocean? I think the solution itself it's already quite hard because the problem is much bigger than everybody thinks. So I think that the, um, the leaders around the world could do better on simple things. If world leaders try to do something all together and put the world together fighting a cause, that would be perfect. We, if we don't have the ocean, we can do most of the things that we can do today. If you could give the world leaders one important message about protecting the planet, what would it be? The message that I would give to them is that um, if you can do simple steps to protect the oceans, why don't you do it? That's a thing. This is a very small answer from me. I would say just look at, at your own family. Look at the people that you really care and think about the next generations in your family. Look at everything you, you really enjoy doing it with them and what, what's the happiness you take from the ocean and how many beautiful moments you have with your family and with your loved ones in the ocean and just think about it and think that everybody after you might not, not have that chance.